Hey, what's up guys? Here's your Dawn Marathon. Today, Saturday, February 1st, 2020. It's weekend recovery time. Be a recovery time to be precise. Taking it slowly. And last evening, as I was watching the news made by World Athletics, formerly known as IAAF, and Believe in the Run, they have announced that the Nike Zoom Alpha, known by Elliot Kipchoge in his two-hour attempt, will not be banned. Yes, you heard it right. It will not be banned. However, the shoe will go on sale, most probably after the Tokyo Marathon. When exactly, we still don't know, but it is most probably going to be introduced at the Tokyo Marathon and this shoe has undergone some new uh, restrictions and revisions by the World Athletics Organization and they have released documents to, to the shoe and they are stating that any type of shoe in the future do have to confirm the following um, rules and that is for example um, a moratorium an indefinite moratorium on any shoe whether with or without spikes that does not meet the following requirements the sole must be not thicker than 40 millimeters no thicker than 40 millimeters the shoe must not contain more than one rigid embedded plate or blade of any material that runs either the full length or only part of the length of the shoe. The plate may be in more than one part, but those parts must be located sequentially in one plane, not stacked or in parallel, and must not overlap. For a shoe with spikes, an additional plate to the plate mentioned above or other mechanism is permitted but only for the purpose of attaching the spikes to the sole and the sole must be no thicker than 30 millimeters. However, they clearly state that there is only one plate allowed, which means Elliot Kipchoge's shoe has obviously had more than one plate. It must have had three plates which were uh, running maybe parallel or stacked they were stacked however that particular shoe will of course not go on sale and it will remain a prototype Nike has smartly or cunningly however uh, used this opportunity to blast that two hour with Elliot but I'm not impressed by it because that shoe is most obviously banned and the alpha version which goes on retail which is slightly different will be available to the wide majority of the people in the country so this shoe worn by Elliot won't so with that said they gained their advantage they posted the record and let that shoe disappear because they knew it's gonna disappear so nobody else will have the chance to ever try this again not under these circumstances and not under legal circumstances so there will have to be another greater athlete than Kipchoge or even Bekele who was able to run sub two hours in the future because with these standards and rules they cannot come close to that two hour barrier when following the rules given by the World Athletics Organization. So, what else can I say? Whether I'm interested in this shoe, I would have to lie if I wasn't. So, I'll keep an eye open on the upcoming release dates and I will focus on whether I am in a position to afford that shoe, but I would really consider the thought buying that shoe. So that's it for the Zoom Alpha Fly 
zoom alpha release date so stay tuned guys peace out